We are live. We are live once again. Fiorentina. Back with some Fiorentina today, guys. Once more, been a few days since the last stream. Fiorentina. The last one, the last one was a bit of a longer one. Yeah, we're all, we're all on now. But yeah, the last one was a real long stream a few days ago. So, whew, we have, we have the latter stage of the season to go. Of course, yeah, we're in no other competitions. Let's see if we get through the Serie A season. We will see, depending if other things pop up. But yeah, we'll just leave on the results for, for everyone to catch up on. If we miss that. Uh, and we've got to talk about the title race as well. We've been on some decent form. It's funny, though, those couple draws, those 2-2s two recently made it a bit harder. I'm like, do we just need to keep... Do we have to keep winning? We have to keep winning games, uh, which makes it tough. It's hard to continually get those results. The wins. Well, that's a challenge. Hey, Ben Caldino again. See, it's always nice to see you here nice and early, nice and early in the stream. I'm back to streaming in the morning for me, but it's early. <laughs> it's early, early. Where are we? It's about 6.30 a.m. in the morning. About 6.30 in the morning, so we're all good to go now, though. All good. All good to go. Should I start to try and stream around this time a bit more? Let let me know. <laughs> That's if I'm in the, again. The, if I wake up and I woke up a bit early this morning, so that's part of it. That's part of it. Yeah, I know. I know it's still it's still late. It's still late elsewhere. But for me, it's super early. <laughs> Uh, that's why I changed my schedule up a bit, but yeah. This time is better. <laughs> yeah, I know, because it's, it's a bit towards the end of the day for a lot of you guys and not earlier in the afternoon, probably. When I would stream before I sleep. Now I'm streaming after I sleep. But anyway, anyway... We're good to go. We're good to go. So, let's let's be focusing on... For you guys that missed it, I remember someone suggested to do this with the young talent we got in, Fabrizio Baroni, to... Uh, to... Where are we? Move to the senior squad. Move to the senior squad. And if we go to training with the mentoring... And obviously to train... Yeah, be training with the first team. But if head on to the mentoring, uh, add a player. And then, just sort by the age. <laughs> yeah, Fabrizio, add player. He's only 15, guys. Only 15, but I thought I thought I should show him uh, to you guys. He's, he's a great talent. If we go to his report, look at that high potential. Uh, five star, five star potential. Really, because he could improve a lot in the future. Uh, definitely, he'll be a Serie A player. I like to, I like, I like to hope that uh, Serie A potential uh, to be a leading striker, like a dominant striker in the league. Yeah, we could have someone nice on our hands if we develop him and get that far enough. <laughs> if we get that far enough into the save, you know, that will be all part of it to get that deep. But he's a good talent we brought through. Right away, I always feel first season, you know, you don't, you, you haven't had so much a hand in it. Like, I've tried to improve the youth, youth facilities and everything like that, but yeah, that's still in motion. But anyway, we've got a big game. We've got Juventus. Guys, we have got Juventus, so it'll be a good way to kick off the stream, I reckon. So, let's see what we've got. A lot of tactical. Oh, Juve. I reckon we're going to work on our defenders. Just add a lot of match tactics. Match. There's about four match preparations there. So, 
Let's work on defense a bit more. Then instead of just tactical there, that's where we will work on the defensive shape. And I think we can line up. Yeah, so a bit more defensive training. A bit more defensive training in, in the build-up. Build-up to this one. See, when I, when I don't stream for a few days and I haven't touched the save for a few days, it just reminds me of injuries. I'm like, Milinkovic got an injury. <laughs> just reminds me of that. So, he will he will be missing. Who's going to be... Yeah, probably just Dario Marisic gives him a chance to come in. Fabrizio Baroni, yeah? See, the, guys, what the good thing is with all these... See, I'm playing him ahead of Martin there. See, he, see, guys, look, mentally, he looks very weak. He looks very weak. Cycling boy, what's going on? Uh, what is going on? Uh, but, yeah, with oh, in the Serie A, uh, you could have some young talents on the bench. So, yeah, Fabrizio Barone, we, Baroni, uh, we have put him uh, with the mentoring, with the strikers. So, hopefully, that's going to help him as well. But, who knows? Like, if, he, if we're leading, you can bring him on and... Yeah, see what he's going to do, but it's it's really weird. It's really weird with Juvent. That's the only thing, guys. Juve could take our position. We're ahead of them because it's results between teams. We got to win. We got to win against them at home, but now it's away. So, yeah, if they beat us, they take our positions on points anyway, but yeah. So it's still going to be a fight. It's still Regardless, I felt we've done really well this season. Oh, no. With He just wants a new contract? That's fine. Could discuss a new contract. He doesn't want to leave? Fine. We just... I feel I deserve... Guys, do you know what the good thing... I feel this is not like a loophole, but before, he wasn't wanting to listen to a contract. He didn't want to listen to a contract before because he was interested, like, with bigger teams. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty cool, uh, how am I doing, I'm, I'm doing pretty well, I'm doing, I'm doing pretty well, uh, how about you, e e all you guys in the stream as well, let me know how you're doing, I hope you're doing well, on, on yeah, fair request, so, this is one time I'm happy to, yeah, feed into that request, because, Oh, guys, some teams have dropped off the interest. It's only buying at the moment. So, yeah, we'll offer the new contract. <laughs> it's easy to say. Um, but, 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 what are we going to... What we can do here is... Oh, yeah, because we, we must have offered some recent one. I can't remember exactly. Is it because we've signed... <laughs> I'm trying to remember what we spent that money on um, out of the budget. So... Well, who was the recent signing? No, no, because it was after that. It was after that. I'm not exactly... It must be the, like, new contracts I've offered to players. Surely. Oh, no, because we can't offer that, man. No way. Oh, where did the money go? Where did... <laughs> oh, no, that's the worst timing ever, guys. We can, we can ask for some more. Man... Increase the wage budget, please. The, see, guys, this is where I wish you could. it could be a bit more in-depth. We need to increase the wage budget or we risk losing our best talent, you know? And there's not really a talk for that. I mean, I know you can say this. I'm, you, uh, I'm desperate for more flexibility in the wage budget. We can't afford to pay everyone. But I don't think it makes it as serious as it is. You know, it's just like a standard thing to say, oh, we want more money to give contracts or, or, but it's more, it's like more extreme than that. It's, yeah, Federico Criesta. So we'll say that. Oh, okay. Okay. We're on a best form, best run of form. So they actually listen to it. I'm glad I was saying that like in defense, if they didn't accept it, to be honest, and the wage budget increase. So guys, it worked. <laughs> okay. Maybe they were, 
I wonder, yeah, I still wonder how much the board actually understands that, or they're just happy to give me that money because we've been doing well. But I want them to kind of recognise someone like a Federico Chiesa wants a new contract and be able to get the money in, in there. So now, guys... We should be able to offer more money. Why is there a limit? Oh, they're trying to play around with me. Guys, how come we can't offer more than 63k as Fiorentina? We've got 42.5 available. Guys, we've got 42.5 available. And what is he on now? What is Federico Kies? We should be able to... It's close. If we've got that much available... Oh, guys, what do you want? What do I do? What do I do here? Please let me know. Surely, I can't even increase. Uh, what are we going to do? Because oh, I don't want to upset him. Guys, this is frustrating. This is frustrating, right? I'm like, what do we do? What would you do in this situation? Give me, <laughs> give me some guidance what you would do. Or, yeah, like I said, just what you would do in this situation. But, well... Alright, um, so I'm just wondering now, what, what do we do? Because it's not going to be, ex it's too, I know it's a bit, it's still an increase on what he's on now, so maybe, but, man, I'm not so willing to offer big bonuses as well, so, you gotta pay, do we continue one day? Advance. Let's see. Offer new contract. Nah, nah, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. Well, I guess we're on the same day here, so... We'll say private, didn't really change too much, but we'll try and get onto the 12th, get to Tuesday and see if it actually changes anything. I mean, they should have gave, uh, gave us more, so, okay, let's keep continuing. I wonder, guys, I wonder how long is that promise for? Ah, uh, it's short term, like six days, I thought. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. Milan lose. They've been they improved, but uh, like maybe they're falling back. Oh, it might be one result, <laughs> but yeah, they were they were on some really good form. So yeah, we'll try now. But I'm feeling yeah, we're not going to be able to regardless. Oh, honestly, I asked for a bit more wage, and that's very that's very slim. Uh, all right, all right, guys. Federico Chiesa off a new deal. Nah, yeah, it doesn't do anything, guys. I'm going to drop to 2 million each for those fees, and uh, we're going to have to try and boost it. I know, yeah, because we can't offer that, man. We can't. We can't. Do we have a limit? Really? Landmark goal bonus. He'll get his goal bonuses, but we got to put extra money here so he has a chance of accepting Really, and goal boat, yeah, 21k. Qualify for Champions League. I mean, that's going to happen. Team of the year bonus. I wonder, because <laughs> that Serie A, like team of the week, he's never in it because they don't use wingers for whatever crazy reason. Uh, what I was thinking... Where do we say that? Uh... Wage rise or what? What? What else? Where's the one? I always sometimes it comes in by default. Okay, which one is like to increase the wage after a certain amount of matches, or is that because he's played a lot already? Wage increase. Hmm. I don't know. Is it because he's already played a certain amount of games for the for the team? 
Like, you know how you can increase the wage after five matches, after ten matches, after 15, but is that because he's already played a substantial amount? Have to do a yearly wage rise. How much? Like, a 10% or something? I don't even know 10% is too much. So, see, I, I don't think this is going to get accepted. Nah. What else here? Top division relegation wage... What else? I'm just going... There's a lot of release clauses now. I I'm not really interested in, <laughs> in release clauses. Nah. I feel we got all these in, honestly. But I just feel it won't be accepted. Mm. It feels weak. Nah, yeah. We, ca we can't be offering that much for him. We well... For it to be about 40k less, that's substan- I, I can't, man. I'm annoyed, and I don't want to just be stuck around with this. So, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do right now. It's it's not- We're not going to have enough, basically. There's not going to be enough money there, and... And that promise is short-term, guys. There's like five days left for us, so... I really don't know what we can do. Oh, Kevin Rubin, three months, three month injury, oh my god, see guys, you hit a certain part in a save, or just in the season, and things start going terrible, it's, they all line up together, I swear, 30% increase, but that's year, every single year, 30% increase, that's a lot, you know, that is a lot, mm, I know we can only try, Try and drop these to 2 million, like I said. We can only offer the 63, man. Maybe try and make goal bonus higher, as high as we can. Appearance fee, maybe maybe increase his appearance fee a bit more. Again, once more, as much as we can, unused sub. Maybe drop to 10 league goals. So this money he'll get for sure, but, you know. We need a... Let's just increase as many things as we can. Maybe, again, if we win the Serie A, add that. But... Uh, the cup as well. Might as well add that. Funny you can add more money for that than Serie A. Alrighty, alright. Yearly wage, bro. Ye okay. Considering I generally... I don't like... 30%, like, because... That's a big amount, 30%. Year by year as well. But, that was suggested. <laughs> that was suggested, so I'll do that. Uh, what else? It's like, what else can increase his want to uh, want to sign? Already got the goal bonus. A lot of these are just like, I don't want release clauses. So there's a not, not a lot of other things to add there, really. And that... What? Guys, that got accepted. Okay. Do you think the 30% did that? Do you reckon? Well... Because uh, I know. I know that's a substantial... That's a uh, substantial increase. So, yeah. Wavy Dens. Thanks for that suggestion. But I did, imp I did increase a lot of other things, <laughs> to be fair. Uh... So, getting him on that wage is not bad, but I know there's a lot of other money involved. But of course, we could also, at a later date, maybe a year from now or two years from now, give him a new contract without that, without that big wage increase. So yeah, there's, there's <laughs> we'll have to, you're not going to see that like skyrocket to a crazy amount. But it could be what he's wanting at some point anyway, what it could get to. So, yeah. What do you guys think of that negotiation? Because I really felt it may have not even gone through. I think we are very, very lucky considering the situation <laughs> with the wage budget. Even though we did ask for more, or more so what we were allowed, what we were allowed to offer. What we were allowed to offer them. Offer him. But anyway. Anyway, guys. 
let's continue. Because we do we we do have a big game against Juventus coming up. Alright. Oh, there we go. You did the calculation. What's that? 30% of 60k is... There you go. Um, possibly on 136. Okay, yeah. That's alright. So it's not terrible to get him on 63k and then 30% increase of that. Okay, thank you. Thank you for doing the mathematics. <laughs> thank you for doing the mathematics, but what do you think about that? Um, uh, did I... Unfortunately, no. We didn't get an affiliate. Do I try again? Okay, yeah, we'll go to the board. <laughs> Might as well. I've had all, so I've had wage budget increase accepted, all these, like, facilities. So, how about, like, yeah, why don't you think they're budging for that? Do you know reasons behind that? When a club wouldn't, for whatever reason, and they got, yeah. Overseas partner, again, increase, might, they always say they don't, we see absolutely no benefit. I don't understand absolutely no benefit that it wouldn't increase merchandising sales. Mm, yeah, they 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 never yeah he never listens to that. Oh, that's cool. You study business. Yeah. Oh, cool. See, it's <laughs> ah oh, really really good, really helpful. <laughs> for me, <laughs> helpful for me, so, that's not too bad, I always see, I always stray away from the, the yearly wage rises, especially one that's substantial, like a 30%, I think, they'll be pretty hefty, but considering the situation, and the player, that wasn't bad, yeah, I suppose, I suppose, but I always like to get that affiliate, you know, if it's, you, you get a few million, I always see you might as well, like, you might as well have one, it's a few million, I guess it's not something I should be too unhappy about. But for those of you just joining in the stream, uh, we did, we did add, we did add, where is he? Yeah, Fabrizio Barone, because he can play left wing as well. We've added him to the first team, a high potential youth intake lad. Yeah, he's got high potential five-star ability. We've added him to the mentoring group as well with all our strikers. We'll just go to that. So you see, uh, we've got Lewis Muir. There isn't a whole lot of experience there, because there's a couple, other, like, a couple other young guys. There's Simeone as well, but... I'm thinking, I'm thinking next season we'll get a new striker because Muriel's only on loan, so maybe it could be a more experienced head. What's that? You need one of these if you play in a VAR league. <laughs> uh... Now, guys, why are we getting injuries suddenly? It's like the start of the season again. And it's not... Guys, This we got Juventus... Ah, oh, this is not good timing. Bryant, ah, oh, Lorini's been really good this season. That's going to be a miss. Mm, guys. All in the lead up to this Juventus game. I'm just putting out the facts. You guys can make up what you will. Football manager scripting, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. We're going to struggle. We're going to struggle. Is this where we might dip down? Our form hasn't dipped exactly yet. So, I wouldn't say that, but 
it's going to be tough. Are we going to drop out of a Champions League place and only settle for Europa League? Is that going to be the case? Do we only get Europa League? I don't know. But Dario Marisic is trading very well. Muriel doing poorly. So, talk to him. But guys, I guess apart from that game against something, he smashed in goals. Guys, hold up. Hold up for a second. Let's put re some respect on Lewis Muriel's name. Look at those goals he scored in a row. I mean, he was unused substitute there. Then, then he took his chance. Guys, he came on the 68th minute there against Empoli and scored two goals. Guys, is Lewis Muriel that player we sign? He strikes me as a player like... He's not going to get better. Like, he is, he is what he is as a player, you know. At 27, as a striker, I guess he's accomplished at this level. I know we can get what we can get out of him. We can get goals out of him. So, it just would he be worth that money? So, guys, normally you can uh, normally you can get a scout. Like you can see a scout report actually of a player you have on loan, right? I don't know. So you can see, like, how much you could sign him for in that. But he's fairly susceptible to injuries. <laughs> but, it, yeah, we've played him a lot this season. He hasn't really had injury troubles. Oh, who knows? And, guys, we've got Juventus. So this game is not going to be easy at all. We've had some injury, injury troubles. Let's see how we go. Let's see how we go here. We're down to bare bones. <laughs> Too many injuries, guys. Oh, boy. So, guys, at least Chiesa signed that new deal. At least we got that again... It's a 63k on the wage, but then yearly wage rise of 30%. Uh, we had to really add that because we couldn't offer more. <laughs> we couldn't offer more wage. So, at least he's happy now. And also, it's took away interest from any club. There's no interest from any team now because, yeah, sign him, sign that, yeah, <laughs> seen him sign that new deal and, yeah, they probably have to spend a bit too much, so it's good to tie him down because at least at some some stage, if we get an offer, negotiate with a club for him, we can really get a, a top amount. Not that I want to plan to sell him, but if that case comes up, you know, we'll get we can really get the maximum. But yeah, big match, big match against Juventus, as Juventus haven't really had the strongest of seasons. Uh, oh, they got Matui, they got Chiellini injured, so they got some injuries, guys. They have got some injuries to speak about. And how's their form been? Guys, they're on some winning form right now, but they're still in the Champions League. They got Manchester United, so that's what I mean. Versus all these other teams, they're, they're still alive in like Europe and stuff and in the Cup. So, they have more to worry about than us. So, I don't know how much of effect that would make, with Juventus, at least. But guys, yeah, this could really be the biggest match. Of See, oh, that's the thing. Like, just with streaming and stuff. Like, I thought like th like these kind of games will have like really big hype. Like really big hype. So, yeah, guys, get excited. Get excited for this one against Juventus. Get excited for this one against Juventus. Just feel a lot of people will be missing it. <laughs> hey, that's why I get them up on YouTube at least. Uh, the stream replays. Ugh. 
Okay. Berardi. How does Berardi look? I feel he has too many, like, like those 14s, 15s, where I probably need to be 16s to be that next level. Look, he's a solid player. He's a solid player. Anyway, guys, for those of you, for those of you here, let me know your predictions. Let me know your predictions for this match. What do you think we can do? So, Lazio get... Guys, Lazio's killing it. It's... I say the title is uh, the title race a lot. We need to win. We need to beat Juventus, or maybe then forget about it, <laughs> or definitely not lose. But yeah, to keep getting three points, because Lazio, guys, they're killing it. Lazio's looking like they've only conceded fourteen goals and and yeah, conceded fourteen and scored fifty four. You see what Napoli's done, but. Whew. Right, guys, Juventus. Skip the briefing. Could we beat them again? Could we beat them again? We did at home. Away, away could be another story, Cecherini. Oh, it's tough. It's really tough. Pazala is in the form of his life. Well, maybe we can start him after this Juventus one. Because honestly, we've got Milinkovic injured. So, it does... It opens enough... Do we think about it for a bit? How is he fitness... Uh, no, he needs match fitness. So, I feel like we need to give him match fitness in an easier game. Like... We got Atalanta at home. They're thirteenth, maybe, yeah. Because I don't think we can go up against Juventus with a player that's not fit enough. So Yeah, let's let's go. Let's go guys. Come on. <laughs> like I said, try to build the hype. Trying to build the hype for this one against Juve, because if we win it. It's what we need to keep up for the title race, but it will boost morale also. Just interesting. I feel we've had a really good season. Again, going back to the results. Like, for Fiorentina, what? We've only lost three games this season. So I feel, yeah, we've, we've done all right. So I, th I feel we should be in a place, like a Champions League place. But it's been a very tight season as well, so... Yeah, see, Napoli win as well, the wins. Let's see what Milan, AC Milan, do this time, though. I feel they'll get a win. If they don't, maybe they'll drop form again, like early in the season. So, oh, they, well, they drop the points. They don't lose. They only get the draw there for AC Milan. So, is that almost riding them off a European position? Well, yeah, sometimes seventh can get it, depending on the cup winner. So, at least, off of that. Oh, Cycling Boy, you're back. Just in time as well. Just in time, like I was saying. Um, yeah, uh, building the hype for this one against Juventus. Unfortunately, the injuries we got. Well, Morales, Lorini, Milinkovic. Yeah, Lorini picked up that one recently, if you missed it. And Morales, a bit longer, really writes him out for the season. Writes him off for the season. So... We can't terminate his loan. I'm thinking, yeah, <laughs> might as well if we could. But anyway. Uh, don't forget Shadash as well. Shadash, he is a young player we signed, but he's 21, so he might need to be used. Anyway, uh, Federico Chiesa on his new contract, on his new deal. Darbo, mate, you're going to have to step up at right back. That's all we can say at this point. We've been trying him or training him. Training, where are we? Go training. Yeah, fullback support. So, hope he steps up. So, maybe we'll change him to that. 
Alright, alright guys, get your score predictions, get your score predictions in for this one. Alban Lafonts, let's hopefully see him perform really well. Wonder Kid Keeper, let's go. Let's go. Hopefully Muriel continues his really good goal scoring form. Uh, squad number, yeah? Fabrizio Barone. Well, right, we'll give him the 19. 19, good to give to a young striker. Maybe he could be a future number 9, so... That seems fitting. That seems fitting. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's see. Juve. 2-1 or 2-1. That's a big call. But actually, as you see, I was just wondering our tactics again. Nah, no, we're going to go balanced. We're going to go balanced. How we have to go against Juventus, I reckon. If we say passionately... Oh yeah, the have been the pundits, the pundits, right to back us up. They're backing us up in this game. So guys, uh, there was Kiesa and Muriel only listening keenly. Everyone else, and again, apart from Marisic, you can see the reaction there. Uh, everyone else motivated, but Piazza looked to gain confidence. But yeah, like I said, every single other player seemed motivated, apart from Marisic. Marisic, <laughs> just for those you can't see. But let's go, guys. Can we can we pull off an upset? Because I feel tactically we've been good. I feel our tactics are solid. So we can come up with results. I believe we can come up with results. So let's see how we do, though. See how we do. Maybe leave it a bit and say get creative. Because there hasn't been a highlight yet. There hasn't been a shot on target yet. Juventus had shots, and we've had a couple now ourselves, but no shots have been on target. And it's Gerson! How about that, guys? Gerson to score the free kick against Juventus. Let's roll this back. That he, He's actually a really, really good free kick taker and to score from them. And, guys... He's on loan from Roma. Do we consider signing Gerson? He's got a bit of potential in him. He's not five-star, but close enough. Is that four-star with three gold and then that black star with the fourth? His maximum potential. But, guys, what, what a goal. What a goal. Again, don't forget we got the, we got the emotes. Um... Not many can use it because I need more subscribers for that. But we the goal got a RIP one as well. <laughs> oh boy! So one nil half time. All right, all right. If you can believe it, if you can believe it, guys. We've got to say, please. We've got, yeah, every single player delighted or extremely delighted. There we go. There we go. Can we continue? Can we get a second goal? Oh, we got to be careful. we got to... Uh, I hate that. <laughs> My God, how didn't we concede a goal? That's what we're going to say there. That's what we are wondering there. Gerson, come on, come on. I feel a goal's coming. Guys, I feel a goal is coming. Can we say tighten up? Yeah, again, we have to go to tactics to see our conditions. Uh, is Kiesa on a yellow card? But they've got... They're, yeah, their fitness is alright. So I don't really think we need a change. What do you guys think? I think we're pretty solid through our tactics. But maybe something I'm noticing. Maybe, maybe we'll, we'll be a bit more direct. We'll leave maybe standard tempo. Yeah, so we'll have yeah more and be more disciplined at the same time. So, yeah, a bit more of a countering style, I guess you can say now. So let's go. At least when we've got goal back, when we've got the ball back, 
yeah, go, go direct at them, guys, Juventus at home, they're not really, they're not really doing much, we can say that, let's take off Kiesa though, <laughs> you say our best player there, bring on Shadash, let's switch the sides there, hmm, I was just thinking, but well, we are training with that side, but I know he's better attacking mid. But if we put him on supports, Piazza support as well. Okay. Still, maybe Mur guys, because uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Let's bring on Barone. Imagine if he scores. That's what I'm just saying. Look at all the different roles he can play. He can even target man, like, because he's decent height, yeah? He's 194 centimeters. Just try and get it on his head. Maybe while he's still not an accomplished player yet, maybe target man could be decent. I don't know. Let's try and find out, at least. Let's see. We're not expecting. It's, it's a way to freshen up the legs a little bit and give the young lad a go. Get, get him a feel. Give him a feel at this level. But guys, imagine, imagine if he does something. Imagine if he does something. Or is it just going to be Piazza? Let's uh, just to see him a little bit in action there as well. We may not actually see too much. Maybe freshen up some legs. Piazza now is, we don't, we have lack of wingers now. Vertu, <laughs> uh, ooh. Maybe just some fresh legs in midfield. Ben Benassi's a good player. So he could come on and do a job. Just less... This is like just five minutes. Oh, guys. What is going to happen? I don't want us to give away possession silly. Don't. Because that could lead... That could be it. I said we want to play direct. So there we go. Oh, does he win the header? Not quite. See, man, with his height, he should be winning that. Really, but we're going to win back possession at least. Guys, can we score uh, a goal? It's not a winning goal. We already got the lead, but more a sealer. We're keeping possession well. I did say we want to go direct. God, <laughs> why did he give it straight to Ronaldo of all? God, <laughs> fucking, what do I say? Our goalkeeper kicks it straight to Ronaldo. Does that scream of FM AIDS or what? Or he kicks it directly to Ronaldo of all players. What do I say? What do I say? Oh uh, boy. What do I say? And and they go on to and leads to a winner? No. It just it's too fishy sometimes, football manager. The way some things happen, the way some results happen. Yeah, we had a win. We had a win against Juventus. What could we do? We had a win and it was stolen late because our goalkeeper decided to pass to Ronaldo, who was in the clear. He didn't pass to one of our players in the clear. They passed to not just the best player in 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 for Juventus in the whole league. <laughs> I tried to avoid the, the 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 best player in the world talk, but either him or Messi. Yeah. But that's annoying. It's super annoying. Guys, how many times does that happen where you concede late and it takes away a win from you? I'm going to say everyone thought we'll get beaten. But we should have won as well. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But I think it shows you we are, like, technical, tactically sound. But uh, what's that? Are you exciting for me to stream after? Yeah, the last stream was a really big one, to be honest. <laughs> it was, like, four hours. But... Yeah, I enjoy the streams, you know. I enjoy the streams. Uh, again, I'm not partnered on Twitch, so any ads you see, I don't get paid for. <laughs> uh, and you see, don't get really much viewers on here, so I just do it when I can, you know, for more spare time kind of thing. I say spare time, but I'm doing it when I wake up. I'm still trying to do it at a time where I think is good where people watch, you know. So, yeah, I don't know. I still just do it, yeah, just for the fun. Just for the fun, YouTube is still my job. <laughs> uh, more so. So I try to when I can. And I, I suppose I want to try and build it up because I, I'd love to do it more, you know. 
But yeah. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What's our next match? Got a bit of a break, do we? That's a la so that's a good thing. Chance for our injuries to come back. So we won't worry about the training until the following week. We'll just leave that. Especially they left the tactical styles are the same. Actually, guys, we might do one where it might not risk. <laughs> What's scenario? No, oh, no. Nah. I just don't click on that too much. Training style. Maybe work on a technical game. Yeah, work on the technical game. We play the passing style, so... Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Bro there, guys! He... He has become the... He could have got that... And even if we didn't play him there, because there was plenty of time. Last one, uh, Bancelli. Bancelli is that? Uh, s he appeared when he was 16. 16 and 228 days. <laughs> Almost a whole year younger. Close. Give or take 60 days or so, but uh, yeah. Hopefully that's going to be good. Uh, not just, yeah. I don't know if we're going to use him more, but... Just being around the first team, you'll give him some confidence. Should should help his development a little bit. Even though, yeah, he's going to develop well, for sure. Great potential, so... A ne hey, needs to develop match experience. We just played him. We just played him, Brian Darbo. Imagine if we had a... You know, if I had our strongest team, maybe we wouldn't have conceded late. We don't really know. It's all maybes. All maybes at this point. So, this Bertoli. So, he's one of those, yeah, younger guys. They're not really worth offering a contract to. So, uh, from the the youth candidates. What are the highest potentials? Yeah, we've got, we've got some other guys with a bit higher potential. Like Dario, Desi... Um, yeah, he, he's the other one we signed up. He's, he's the other lad we signed up, and that was, and the rest are, yeah, players that were here already. So, we understand that. He could be okay. He could be alright, depending on his development. But it fa fairly susceptible to injuries. Hopefully he doesn't get too many. Uh, throughout his early days. Yeah. So Roma guys, let's see. Will Roma get their result they need? But guys, at least a draw was good for us because results between teams we've got. Oh no, Roma! Oh late winner, late winner there. But guys, the good thing is we held off at least losing against Juventus, which means we'll we have the results between teams against them for this season. If we finish on the same points as Juve, we're going to be on top of them. Re yeah, goal difference doesn't matter. Uh, that the results between teams come first. So guys, that's a good thing, right? Even though we could have got the win, hey, you, you can't complain too much how the game played out in, in the end. It was away from home. We could have lost. So, <laughs> yeah. We've got, we've got that to our name. So, if we finish on the same points as Juventus, we'll be on top of them. We'll be a position above them. So, that's good. That's good. Gerson. See, Gerson gets in the team of the week. Guys, it's wrong. Uh, he doesn't deserve it for that performance, but... Uh, with Kiesa, but he hasn't got it, he hasn't been it at all, for the whole season, he's got player of the weeks, but never a team of the week, because they don't use wingers for it, which is stupid, <laughs> which is so stupid, uh, boy, at least give him a spot in the striker, but because he's not, 
Yeah, because he plays on the wing. He should, though, with the goal scored. Still 10 more days. Let's see, guys. Look at the games. Rest of the games for the season. We got a cup. We got like Inter and Roma and Lazio. So, and Roma, Lazio in the last month in May. So, and Inter, the final game for April. So, the end, guys, the end of the season is going to be important. And then we've got Napoli. We've got Napoli after Atalanta. So, it's quite a few, quite a few trickier, trickier games where we still have to fight for our. Champions League position. Uh, I'm definitely, yeah, like I just mentioned, I'm definitely happy we uh, we held off Juventus, even though we should have got that win. Ah, uh, they're always they're always hard to get over those those loss. But when you lose that result, it wasn't a loss exactly, but we got a draw when we had a win, and we we conceded in such a silly fashion. Oh boy! But yeah, if he, like I said, it was good what we've done against Juventus this year, which yeah means we got results between the teams in our favour, in our favour, which is a good thing. Hmm. Yeah, we just got that international break, guys. So, we're... yeah, it's it's that's how it is. When you've got a win and you concede a late goal, it feels like a loss. If it, like you lost the points you had, it again. What? How <laughs> was it? Was it was eighty eighth minute? But hey, I remember someone saying last time, and I mean, it is a fact. Like Serie A, there's always but in a lot of matches. That's when a lot of goals are scored in matches, late, <laughs> because teams, players get tired, that happens. Ooh, yes, this guy, someone told me about him last time I scouted him, yeah? Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't have any trans interests, and Milan don't want to sell, so he might be a hard get, but maybe once he becomes, like, 19, 20, and he hasn't, if they aren't starting him, like, they see him just as a hot prospect right now. But, do we at least declare interest? No, not top target. Do I, I never do that. I just do, yeah, for transfer. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Let me just say there's definitely some interest from our side. Yeah. Yeah, that must have been, yeah. <laughs> I was wondering if it was you or not. Who said that about the goals? That's all good. Ugh. But yeah, just off that, yeah, I definitely remember the key information <laughs> you guys say. Cecherini, so you got like if you want to play more, at least show that in training. So come on. Baragi training well. He's been good. He's had a pretty solid season, guys. Without being amazing, but his average rating, yeah, pretty solid. Pretty solid in the league. Pretty consistent. But anyway, uh, yeah, Atalanta next is home. So we might as well take a look at the training. As we head into this week, yeah, that Tiki Taka. Uh, let's just take off the match. We'll have the match. Hmm, we have match practice. Just wondering the last time we had that. But we should have that after international break, I think. And then mix that with attacking movement as well. So that's on the same day. Have the match practice, attacking movement. I'm not sure what you guys think of that. Don't actually do that too often. But <laughs> I don't end up changing. I'm like, oh, that would be interesting to try. Because of training, well, how training is the new feature. Not training being a new feature, but how training is presented now in FM. I feel like there's a lot of things you still... Like, this far into FM19, I still try. Okay, let's see how that goes. Uh, doing the match preparation on the same day. Two of them. Like, one match practice and one attacking movement. <laughs> uh, still, yeah. More experimenting. Hmm... 
Uh, Dabo's in good form for his country as well, so that's good. Good form. Hopefully carries that for us. Okay, here's this. Hmm. He doesn't look too bad, does he? Odd guards. I'm just judging off... Yeah, I haven't heard about him about too, uh, too much about him, but... Looks pretty balanced, and he's 19. Hmm. Interesting. But they ha he hasn't really got much of a go this season. Yeah, we'll see. Drink. Yeah, he's got that 15 strength. He's 188 centimetres as well, so that taller type. Good balance. Solid finisher, 13. Expecting that improves, of course, at 19. More, more envisioning his attributes at his best. Yeah, as he develops and all that kind of stuff, so yeah. But guys, I feel like I could turn this into another long stream. Even though I know it's late for a lot of you guys, but hey. I always got I always got to remember what I, I I say to myself like I really wanted to like this year I wanted to just spend a lot of time on streaming. Like stream for long hours. So we'll see how we go. See how we do. Because I think, guys, if we can stream this up until FM20, be happy to do this. This save. But guys, give me some ideas. What kind of save do you think will be good to start? Well... This is what I was thinking. You know, when you pre-order, pre-order the new FM game, you you get the you get the beta. I thought maybe I'll do like a Manchester United or something like that. But as a main one, maybe when the the game drops, maybe when the game as more a like a challenge, a more harder save to do. What what do you what do you guys think will be a good a good save for that on Twitch? More like really really long term one. As much as I, these are my, f guys, these are my favorite saves to do. Like, uh, if we use Fiorentina as an example, like in a top European division with a team, you know, that's vying for Champions League qualification. Uh, they haven't had it in recent times and, or they haven't won a title and that kind of stuff recently. But they've got the facilities to do that. They've got the money and with right signings and stuff uh, to push for that. So yeah, th these are my favourite type of saves to do. The ones that are really chill and you don't have to stress too much until injuries start to come in. <laughs> but either way, Football Manager can be stressful when you put expectations on yourself. Like right now, when we're close to a Champions League finish, uh, Champions League qualification. So yeah. That's all part of, part of it. And Brian... Oh, guys, we're not going to be able to have a right back. Come on. We're not going to be able to use a right back, guys. There's no way. Four days. Guys, we're not going to be able to play a right back. Unless someone out... Unless we've got a defender that can play right back. It didn't... Oh, but Milinkovic is injured. Oh, my. We can't play a right back. Actually. 
How did I know this kind of thing will happen? Can Biragi play right? He can barely. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Hanko? Not at all. Guys, injuries. I can and that, that was an international, international break injury. <sighs> Literally, it was an international break. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what we're going to do. Oh, Benassi. He got his first cap. Okay, that's cool. Okay, who's this? Uh, see, he's average. Like, he's kind of got... Especially ones that are out on loan. We're going to let go of a lot of players out on loan. That is for sure. Like, we had some injuries at the start of the season. Well, I mean, yeah, if you watched a lot of these streams... We went, like, the mid part of the season, we, we were okay. We were okay, especially Reese. Okay, before we started getting these injuries, like the start of this 2019, like January, February, we were good. In December, yeah, that, that, that part, those, that period of months, I felt we, we went on a good streak of not getting injuries, big injuries especially. So let's just see. Yeah. <sighs> oh, no, La <laughs> guys. Oh, one to three days. He should still be good. A bruised knee. But what is happening? And the game's in two days. I like to think he'll be okay. <laughs> but, whew. See, i got to hold off for a second. A backup keeper. He, He's okay. He's okay for backup. But still. It was, a, it was like a little warning injury. <laughs> oh, boy. See how we do. See how we do. Oh, so but the one against Napoli might be tricky. Oof. I'm not focusing on the next match. <laughs> Atalanta. Like, they're 13. They're, I feel we should still be strong for them. Stronger than them. And too strong for them. So, yeah. Who's this Tassoni? Yeah, no, nah, he's not good. Oh, is AC Milan going to drop points again, guys? They do. AC Milan really falling off now. Yeah. Does that make us feel safer? We'll get a, like, European position for sure. But we want, we want Champions League. We want Champions League. So we need, we need to get back winning after a draw against Juventus here. Need to get back with the wins. And yeah, mentality that's yeah, attacking by default. All right. So what do you think? Uh, what you might want to you might want to see our lineup and you can make a prediction as we are coming to the end of March. Guys, we're almost in April. Won't be too long. The rest of the season. I'll tell you what. We'll get through it. And and I hope. I hope we can at least secure fourth. At a minimum. So this odd guard. Yeah. What, what does he report? What does his report look like? So yeah. It's really cheap. Like he's got. Yeah, he, he's not probably going to be one, like, a top striker, like, for a top team. But do you consider, what do you consider? Like, his estimated cost, you could sign him maybe two million, two and a half. He's interested. Like, he'd just be really cheap. Uh, uh, probably profit could be made on him, for sure. 
Yeah, what do you think? You can get him at a really cheap fee. Even though I don't think he'll be a star. Huh. Let me know. Let me know anyway. Anyway, for now, get your predictions in. Darbo injured, bro. Like, what are we supposed to do? We can't play Lorini. Do Milinkovic. It's a bit of a rush, but we need we need someone there. And we'll just use him no nonsense fullback. Just make sure he defends and does his job there. He's not the good thing with him <laughs> he's natural. He's natural both positions. So let's just hope he does I mean what else what else is our is our choice? we'd have to play someone not as familiar. So Shadash there will bring in Gotta be careful of <laughs> Gotta be careful of uh, Kiesa as well, only 86% condition. Got to be, got to be careful. Muriel, yeah, we'll start Muriel. I, I can get too tempted when we've got like a young talent. But guys, his current ability is, is not too bad for 15. For fi don't forget, he's, he's 15. He's already one and a half current ability. But no, Muriel, pretty good, pretty good goal scoring form, even though he hasn't scored last two before that. Yeah. We know, we know he can score for us. So, let's just go in. We'll go in and see. See how we do. See how we do in this match, guys. Let's go. Hmm. We go passionately. We've been on a good run lately. So, <laughs> Alban Lafont, he's actually the only one who looked happy from that. Everyone else, like, listen keenly. That's not bad, though. Shows you they're still relatively focused on, like, the the job at head, uh, job at hand, sorry. Oh, whoa, no, I was, uh, oh, Cecherini, I said I was going to play him, but. What are we going to do? Can still give him games, of course. Let's see, so... Gerson... Shadash! Oh! He almost... He almost went big. Now falls to Gerson. Marisic! Imagine if he scores. No, smartly lays it off. Whew, that would be nice. That would be a nice goal to see. It's built up really well. It's good when your players know their limitations <laughs> and your centre backs don't strike. But come on, we need we need a goal. Get that early goal, Shadash. Come on, show your talent, lad. What a pass to Marco Piazza. Marco Piazza gets the goal. That's his ninth of the season, and I'm really loving Shadash. I'm loving his work, what he can do with the assists. His balls are great. That sounds a bit suspect, but... <laughs> ah, yeah. The great cross. Great cross. Piazza with the finish. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. Ooh! No foul, and now it's Biragi. You know, he's got a good cross, but gets to Piazza. Back to Biragi. No, he's got the cross. Falls to Gerson. Vera 2! Guys! Goal! Goal emote in the chat. Goal emote in the chat. I probably use my emotes more than anyone. I think I have like... <laughs> I think Ben Caldino is my only subscriber at the moment. <laughs> oh boy. Well... Lewis Muriel injured. Uh, guys, why are we getting so many injuries right now? Do we just let's bring on Baroni? I don't I'm like. I don't care right now. Let's let's try advance forward. Let's try advance forward. We've got a two goal lead, so I imagine there's too much injuries. Oh, fuck, it's annoying. Imagine if we were like in European competition late and having important games. 
Oh, no! Look, how do they score? How do we get an injury and then they score right away? Like, guys, it comes in twos. The bad things come together. Like, I swear, and that makes it feel weird. Oh, let's go balanced. Well, we still have a lead. But it's so, so strange. So, feeling less, conf less confident. Let's say don't get complacent out there. So, players, yeah, gain focus. Every single out player, out outfield player did there. The positive reaction. Nah, nah. Not liking the look of it. Not liking the look of this. We can't lose a lead. We were 2-0, guys. We were 2-0. Guys, I said don't get complacent. And they reacted good to it. They reacted well. Every single outfield player. And we can see not even two minutes in. That's fucking stupid. This game is stupid. I swear. I swear to you. We might as well go back attacking now. I brought... <laughs> Come on. No, I'm the one who needs tips. Honestly. Apparently... Like, what the hell is that? Don't come to me for tips right now. I'm not feeling... <laughs> oh, my God. I swear. Come on. Let's get the goal back. Gerson! Fuck, man. I'm, we're conceding crazy goals right now when we've got leads and stuff. Nah, man. It's ridiculous. Shadash, come on. Is our young talent going to score a goal? Get to him. Get it to him. Get a cross in. He could. He might score. It's Fabrizio Baroni, the 15-year-old, guys. The 15-year-old Fabrizio Baroni. If you're new to the stream, we got him in the youth intake. And we, we brought him on for, against Juventus, a late sub. We've done it again. And he scored this early in his career. He is going to be something special. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. He, uh, Baragi can put it on a silver platter for him as well. But guys, come on. He is going to be, he's going to be something special. Get the hype around his name. Get the hype up around his name, guys. Could he score another? <laughs> oh, boy. Show we really mean business. He's a hero. Veritu. Ooh. He's good. He's going to be something good. We did get a notification there as well. Thanks for the follow as well. Uh, <laughs> the Bumhole McGee Jr. Mate, what a name. What a name. But I appreciate the follow, <laughs> appreciate the follow mate. But right now, we need another really to... Mate, we should stay on attacking, yeah? Stay on attacking. Come on. Baroni. He might need another goal to be player of the match. But it's nice to see him get a goal this early. In his in his career. Hasn't even got a start yet, but he's come off the bench. And this on the second occasion he scored. Now Gerson, come on. Can he be the hero today? Especially if he gets another. Get it out wide and get a cross in for him. That's because he's pretty tall as well. So here we go to Baragi. You know he's got... Come on. Okay, we're going in board then. Gerson. He, he does it again! Fabrizio! Fabrizio! Could he get a hat-trick? Oh, my God. He, he's on a hat-trick. He's on a hat-trick. About 30 minutes remaining. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, guys. Hey, Cycling Boy. Appreciate the subscription. I just checked that. I just checked the chat and I saw... Uh, Got to, you can use the goal emote. You can use the emotes. <laughs> but appreciate that. Appreciate that. And what a time. What a time, Baroni. Oh, imagine if it fell to Baroni. But German Pazala. Uh, German Pazala. We're happy happy with any player to score. And we make it 5-2. As well. We make it 5-2. That's all good. Good finish. Good finish, but wow. I want to just see him... I want to I want to see Baroni get a hat-trick, though. Piazza, I swear. I swear. Gerson, come on, win this. He does. 
El Nenny. <laughs> like, man, the goals are flying in. Who cares about injuries, hey? <laughs> what are injuries? Good timing on the side, I'm saying. I scored the goal and I went to the chat to t type in the, the emotes and <laughs> fucking, I saw it, thanks. Uh, okay. Okay, he's gonna... Okay, he's... I'm excited, excited for him. Just a little bit. Um, Marco P... Oh, Marco Piazza, no. Al Nenny, he's on 61%. Don't want to see him get injured. Let's bring on Norgard. He's a defensive mid, yeah? He, oh, he's, yeah, he can play there, naturally. Deep lying playmaker, defend as well. So, we shall roll with that. I think now we can go to balance, even though we're not in danger of losing it from here, but I'm just like, okay, might as well. Might as well. We wouldn't want to concede another. Hold on to 5-2. Five, 5-2 two. Five, two, two still looks like a strong performance by us, like a strong attack. 5-3 looks a bit like high scoring game as a whole, but 5-2 is still in our dominance. <laughs> I think. Anyway, looks that way. Happy with that. Happy with that. But how about it, guys? No, we... D don't put that on me. <laughs> AC In before ACL tear, mate. No. <laughs> yeah, don't... Don't put the <laughs> injuries on us. Oh, we, we don't need that at all. So every single player reacts well there. Looked extremely delighted. Well, Shadash only delighted and Alban Lafont and Milinkovic. But yeah, still positive reaction. Shadash, player of the match with his couple of assists. He was huge, guys. He was huge. Veratu as well. Uh, yeah, he got a goal. Look at those nine ratings. Gerson. So yeah, we had a really good performance. And Baroni coming on with two goals. Let's get excited. The lad, he is going to be, he's going to be, he's going to be something special. Lewis Muriel, he might have to, <laughs> he might have to get a start here. Uh, Shadash pay increase. Oh yeah, remember we had that in the contract. That's all good. Yep. Basically, we've had a lot of bad luck recently, but we've had a lot of good things happen. <laughs> Let's look at the, guys. We've gone 14 matches in a row without losing. Hold up for a second. Hold up. 14 matches in a row in the Serie A. Because the loss we got, we're, that loss, yeah, that was, in the, that was in the cup against Napoli. We've been unbeat. How long? When was the last loss? Our last loss was early in December against Inter. We haven't lost this year as well. In Again, in the league. We've been unbeaten. Whew. How about that? Guys. <laughs> we, are, we are doing very well. We are doing very well. That's what I'm just saying. We need to... Is the title oh, still up for grabs? I don't know. Probably not. Like, just being realistic. Like, it's still possible mathematically. You don't know. They could... Teams... Like, Lazio could get a few losses... What if they do? You Then it becomes open for us. It's possible. <laughs> it's where it's possible still. So, Napoli. This could be a test, though. This could be a test. So, if we head into April... Napoli. We've got too much overall training there. Uh, let's work on defending. Let's work on our ground defence. And then, well, outfield. We'll leave that. Overall. And uh, we're going to work on defending. Defending corners. Defending corners. And there we go. So, again, how many more games? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah? Because we've got, yeah, 29 matches played as well. So, we've got 55 goals scored. Second highest in the league. But, yeah, as we were just talking about, had some good form. Uh, yeah, being unbeaten with this streak. Imagine if we can go unbeaten for the rest of the season. There's going to be some tougher games coming up. So, maybe hard. It may be a little bit hard, but probably what we need if we 
want to win the title and relying on teams above us drop some points but we need to maintain that come on i'm happy <laughs> even with the injuries i say let's build some momentum but i think we are building momentum But yeah, it hasn't been a, a, a typical Juve. They've been pretty poor. They have been poor. They're sitting in fifth. So, they might... Guys, there's a strong chance they'll miss out on Champions League. But we're kind of relying on those other teams to drop out. But there was a time in the season when Inter was dominating as well, guys. Like, really early. They're going on some poor form. They had some losses. They lost against Sassuolo at home. They lost against Lazio at home. Milan there as well. But look how they started. They started pretty well. They had a loss there against Lazio. <laughs> Not good luck against Lazio. Uh, so that's their results between teams fail. But yeah, their start to the league season was very good. Even in the you know, Champions League group stage, had a loss against Barca. But yeah, that was a February was a bad month. Feb was a bad month for them. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. They got knocked out of Champions League. Yeah, uh, let's go. So, Baroni. And the youngest scorer as well. Ooh, Babaka. How's he going right now? I always thought he was an all right striker. But, yeah. He, he overtook him easily as well. Again, pretty much by a year. Almost a whole year. So, how about how good is he going to be, guys? Whew. He's got that determination in, in him as well. That's the standout uh, mental attribute. But also teamwork and anticipation. 12 is a pretty good mental attribute for, <laughs> for a 15-year-old. For a and those 10s, and work rate 9, off the ball 9, flare 10, those are going to be, or they're going to be pretty solid attributes. They're going to develop. So, he's going to be a star. And don't forget, guys, 13. How about his finishing? I reckon that could push like 18 to 19 at his best. What do you think that could get to? What do you think his finishing will get to, guys? At his absolute best. A guy with like five-star potential. How much does the attribute increase? I'll probably see about six or seven points. At the absolute best. Uh... Rael Seven Taurus, thanks, thanks for the follow. So there we go. How's our injuries looking? How's our injuries? <laughs> that's still, that's still a trouble. And Baragi suspended as well, so he's going to be missing. Dav David Hanko, yeah, David Hanko, he's going to get a go. He's not too bad. Like good tackling, solid passer as well. See how he see how he continues to develop. We've got his training on just fullback support, pretty simple. Yes, oh yes, you've got a new sub. Yeah, we've got a new sub as well, Ben Caldino, uh, cycling boy. He appreciate uh, I appreciate that. Uh, so yeah, hopefully he start to get a few more and we can get going. We can get more emotes as well. <laughs> we got a rest in peace one, but I think that's I got it as the second tier. Second tier subscribe uh subscription the rip but anyway yes you have a com you have a competitor for sub of the month i'm not sure how we give that out sub of the month but either way <laughs> oh. Uh, but yeah, uh, all of you in the stream right now. If you're a new viewer, make sure you make sure you follow as well. Make sure you follow uh, about twenty of you guys. Uh, twenty of you guys in the stream. So nice to nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you all here. But yeah, make sure to follow if you're new around here, so you just get notified when I stream. So you see more of Fiorentina. See more of Fiorentina. So uh, let's take a look. The players that are running out, yeah, Pinto. 
I decided to get, yeah, I was already, I, I, of course I would take a look at these players. We're, we're almost in, we're just about in April, about to tick over to April. So I would have looked at players. He's done well in the league. He's out on loan in, but yeah, he doesn't have Serie A potential. So that would be the same with all of these guys. They just don't, don't have that ability in them. So we let them go. And the staff, we, does anyone else end up the same? You leave your staff and sometimes they just end up to month to month contracts But anyway, sometimes you offer them a new deal, but if they don't have a chance of leaving, you just I just leave it. <laughs> sometimes there's so much contracts to offer. So Roma did win. Any guys, Juventus won. Okay, they don't drop the points there. But we're, we need. Well, oh, guys, Inter Napoli. One of them is going to drop points. And Lazio away against Udinese. Who knows? Come on. This is where we need something. This We need teams to drop points. Like I said, someone will for sure. So Lazio drew. That's good. At least they don't win. And Inter or Napoli. Do we really prefer... Like, who do we prefer? Maybe a draw as well? I don't know. What would you prefer? Well, we're going to find out what the result's going to be anyway. So Inter beat them. So, yeah. I suppose that holds off Napoli going up more. Even though Inter's on top of us as well, but what can we say? Because also we have a chance against Inter. We've got them we've got them away because we had a game earlier in the season. We lost 2-0 against them, so we're going to have to get like a really big win for it to be results against teams, but to be in favor of us. But either way, uh, Il Moranga, or just Moranga, either way, how you want me to say your name, uh, appreciate, appreciate you following the stream, thank you, thank you very much. As I was saying earlier, guys, as well, and I've said it in previous streams, I like my last stream was over four hours. I think I want to start to do these longer, longer streams. Would you guys, <laughs> may, I don't know if you guys see that as a long stream, but it feels like it to me anyway, when a stream is over like four hours or even three, I think I'd regard like three hours or more as a long stream. But what, what would you guys see as a long stream versus a short stream or a normal length stream? <laughs> but yeah, I'd really want to do those. But either way, we've got Napoli. We've got Napoli coming up. Okay. Yeah, three hours plus is a long stream. Like I said, that's what I felt. Hey, Simo96, what's going on? Uh, are you you subscribed on YouTube? That's cool. That's cool. Uh, once more, like I say, when people come along from YouTube, I'm like saying, I do really want to stream a lot more. I, I love streaming. I like talking to you guys. Uh, yeah, it's, it's nice and chill. Enjoy the streams. And I feel like overall, yeah, I interact with more people through the streams than, <laughs> uh, than comments on a YouTube video, you know, so. Yeah, I like it. So, guys, again, look, if you just join the stream, though, if you just join the stream, we have got Fabrizio Baroni, young player, young player we got through the youth intake. That was just his second game off the bench, and he scored two goals to help us win against Atalanta. We were in a position in the game where they caught up. Was it like 3-2? And we had to make sure we yeah, steer clear. And yeah, he came on and scored a couple goals. So, not just with his potential, but he's actually showing showing up now. and Very exciting. Very exciting. Nice talent. Okay. 
But we, yeah, guys, Napoli. Napoli is a really big game. So if we just put this in com comparison, yeah, put it in comparison if we win this. If we win this, we won't take over Inter, but we'll get closer. We'll get to take those points of Napoli. Guys, we need to win this one. We do need to win this one. And just go back again. We, we've got Lazio late in the season as well. So that could be very, very big to keep the title race alive. Well, it is very much alive if we get these, if we get those results for sure. Oh, Benassi gets... But, guys, we're getting too many injuries. Uh, just randomly. Training. Training injuries. Maybe I need to add more rest days to training, but... Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Still very annoying. <laughs> uh, Atalanta, Torino. Not too important for us. Results wise, certain results. Ugh, three one. Like I said, <laughs> not too important. Not too important for us. Sing a song. Uh, <laughs> I'm just like uh. <laughs> uh. Get the mood up. I just... I feel like my music I listen to is so different. Well, to be honest, I listen to a lot of different types of music. But, no. No, because I upload the... Guys, because I upload these to YouTube. Because I upload these, I can't play music because... I could probably sing. <laughs> but not, not play... No, but... No. <laughs> um, yeah. I can't. Because YouTube is so much more strict than Twitch. But Twitch does mute some songs. Well, when it goes in the past broadcast. Unfortunately, the music is strict. <laughs> Bad excuses. But hey, no, um... Funnily enough, I... I, I say it, but it's not too serious. I say I make music myself, but... You will like, leak your SoundCloud, yeah? <laughs> no. I can't do that. <laughs> that will be a goal for someone to find. No, I just, I just mess around with it. It's not really a career, I guess. It's what I do in spare time. Just for fun. So, Milan beat Roma there. I think that's a good result. <laughs> he deserved it. Oh, no. Oh, no. It has a chance of it spreading if I share the link. <laughs> oh, no. Buragi's got a red card. Oh, it's so weird though. I feel like it's like my different worlds combined. I feel like I have different personalities. I have like my music side of me and that and then <laughs> and then football manager and then my football side of stuff. Man, we got a crazy amount of injuries. This is huge. I feel... Oh, Simeone's not even fit, guys. Do we play Baroni? Do we just start Baroni? Oh, are we too... Is my head too much in it? Uh, Lorini. Maybe make the bench at like... Guys, what would you do? What do you, what would you do right now? What, are we talking heavy... Ro uh, <laughs> I was going to say... Um, if I said SoundCloud, that might give it away. What is the most popular genre of <laughs> SoundCloud artists? Uh, uh, 
Anyway, I was going to say Simeone will be the next. Do we start him even though he's not fit? Maybe Baroni, yeah, just lose, use him as a super sub right now. This is where he's, the game is going to get it. Uh, said we'll play Cecherini more, but how long is the promise for? It's 44 days left, so he can... Who's distant in our relationships? Allegri and Vittor Hugo. <laughs> uh, to be expected. Anyway, guys, get your predictions in for this one. Yeah, I'm a bit... Okay, Chiesa's going to have to start. Okay. Yeah, we'll make that change. We'll do that. And Simeon... No, not that false knight. Use a poacher. So... And because we're away here, balance... I suck at playing the squad play. I don't... I always hate it when someone says I suck at something. I feel so, like, offended. <laughs> like... Damn. It just... <laughs> that I suck. Damn. I always feel I get so defensive, and then, like, if that will be my response in, like, a YouTube video, like, I'll show someone's comment, and I'm like, mate, I've been unbeaten. I've been unbeaten in so many games. <laughs> We've been unbeaten for this long. Maybe that's why we've been unbeaten because we've been, <laughs> we've we haven't been using squad players. I've been selecting the best the best team. So <laughs> anyway, ah, uh, just Z's. What's going on? What's going on? You're just in time for uh, to witness all the injuries we have. But but uh, what's his name? Fabrizio Baroni, a young talent. He scored two goals. He scored two goals coming on against Atalanta. Atalanta. So, something to be excited about still. And I say injuries, but we're still unbeaten as well. And against Juventus, again, I'll just show you for you guys that missed it. Uh, they We conceded a late goal. Basically, our keeper passed to Ronaldo. And that was it. Ronaldo didn't score. He passed someone and they scored, but... Anyway, anyway, let's just get into the game. Let's get into the game. I feel... I feel when I rotate my team... Okay, fuck it. Let's see what happens when I rotate. We'll take off Marisic because he's young. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Ending the myth that, that I don't play the squad players. I, I mean... There we go. We're trying them. But I know you got to keep them fit. You don't want to play them in this situation. But I mean, what can we do? Yeah, it's it's hard. It it's part it's part of the challenge of football manager. Honestly, I'm I don't really like our selection today. Even before that, even like playing Hanko, but injuries, suspensions. That happens. We owe Napoli what happened after the But let's lift. Like I said, I feel tech... Uh, like, tactically... <laughs> I said that last time as well. I said technically instead of tactically. Um, but I feel like tactically we're good. So I feel like... We can... We can perform well. Oh! Decent! Decent! Let's go get an early goal, Yeah? We can do it. Al Nani. What are we going to do here? Cesarini. For a two. Come on, get the strike on. That was poor. Okay. Let's see. But for me, that happens in every save. Like, like you always get a player playing that is unsettled, or not playing and they're unhappy. You can't play every player enough like they want. You always have, like, a backup player, and he's not good enough, and it's going to hurt you if you, don't, if, you, if you play him too much. But I feel in, it's normal in a football manager save. You'll get someone unhappy, <laughs> one way or another. But I feel I do. I feel I do all right. So I like my way of managing. 
Because, yeah, uh, if a player's not good enough, we end up selling him, so... <laughs> it's not the worst thing. I want to get to a point where my squad players are really good players. And that's normally not the case for most clubs. So here we go. Kiesa! Kiesa! That's going to crawl over the line. Uh, Albiol, that's our own goal. So we get the leads. But it will be pretty good if we get the result here and yeah, give a couple players match sharpness. A bit more extra. So Kiesa... Yeah, well, it, took, it took a deflection. He said he nodded it away. Again, it's hard to tell in the Football Manager graphics, but... Like I said, if we manage to get the win here, it'll be pretty good. Al Nenny's played a couple key passes, and we're 1-0. Like, you probably wouldn't have expected that. <laughs> like, even Milinkovic playing right back, and he's not even super fit. So, we'll say, don't get complacent. Every single player gained focus or motivated, just apart from Al Nenny there, who just listened keenly. He was probably the best player for the half. There we go. Yeah, get the goal emotes in, lads. Get the goal emotes in. And now let's just reflect. Let's reflect that first half. Back it up. We had the possession. That's all right. But yeah, with the, they've got Mertens and Insigne. That maybe worries me a little bit. They've got, they've got goal-scoring ability. But see... Has Napoli really threatened us too much, Diawara? As I say that, they're going to score from this chance, I can tell. <laughs> you can see it coming in this build-up, yeah? Always after half-time. Guys, after half-time. I don't know why. And it doesn't matter your team. You could praise them or say don't get complacent. Conceding after half time is a real fact. I'm not going to watch that again. So I'm just saying, uh, how's our fitness looking? I swear. Simeone looking super tired. Now, let's bring on Baroni again. Can he do it? Can he do it? What's that? You pause the stream, think he was a video. <laughs> That's alright. Think he is like YouTube. Yep. Yeah. Rest in peace. Yeah. Rest in peace. We've still got the lead, so it's not rest in peace territory just yet, but Lorini. Let's bring Lorini on for Malinkovic. You love the emotes, yeah? I do have a, another spot for another emote. Let me know. One more could be made. Let me know what you like to see. Ah. Uh, because. AMG style, thanks for the follow. Thank you, thank you for following. But what I was going to say is, what do we do now? <laughs> Al Nenny's had a good, well, he had a good, he actually dropped a bit this, this half. I'm taking a risk. Just bring an attacking midfielder. Attacking midfielder. Yeah. For Shadash. Let's see how this goes. We'll still leave it on balance though. Oh, there's a highlight instantly. Is this going to be a game where the changes are wrong? <laughs> oh, let's see. No. Settle on this Lorini. Oh no, you fucktard. What the fuck? That's not... Ta that's player error. That's just a dumb cunt. That's what that is. And not... <laughs> like, what are you doing? Oh, my God. R.I.P. R.I.P, guys. R.I.P. That's, that's the case for that. Kiesa gets the goal back. Come on. Need more of that. We would be... Guys, we would be winning if it wasn't for a stupid error at the back. Yeah, I know tier 3 is expensive. I know. It's fair enough. Understandable. I don't, I don't expect that at all from... I don't expect any donation or subscriptions, to be honest. But I appreciate everyone that does, you know. 
Oh my god, the errors. Because it does help. But these errors are not helping. These errors... Oh no, no. I can tell. It's going... Oh man. <laughs> I want to just supersede our expectations and... Challenge for the title late into the season. So anyone else? We don't really have a superstar on the bench. That will be a game changer, so I'm going to leave it. Well, no, we already made three subs anyway, so you can tell. Like, I'll, a draw would be okay. As much as I'd love to take a win from them, show some passion, maybe. We can get a late winner. Come on. We can still get goals on balance. It's not, like, super defensive. It's a good mix, actually. It's a good mix. No, how does that close? <laughs> The block deflected right to Merton's feet. Like, how does that... Like a, like a pass. And it's going to lead to a goal. Guys. Guys. Don't... How does that... Settle, settle, settle. But how does that happen? You can't say that is... That's rubbish, really. That's rubbish how that happened. That's stupid. That... And... The save and goes right back to them. They made them score there. The game. They wanted... They did... We can't be getting a result from this. It's stupid, I swear. It is stupid. Let's go extremely direct. It's so annoying, man. We love football manager, but goals you concede and how they come about is is so dumb. It's I love the game, but it's I hate the fashion you can concede goals in. Of course, you can concede. But just how they come about is so frustrating. That's the only thing. How they happen, how they actually happen in the game. Yeah, the way things are displayed, exactly. You said it. How they come about. And 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 how often they come in that way. And we're actually going to lose our streak here. A lose our unbeaten streak like that. It's over. Fuck, man. And I know when you, especially when you have an unbeaten streak, it's it's bound to come to an end. Piazza, what are we gonna say? Appreciate your efforts. You were unlucky. That made him look happy. Okay. All right. What are we going to say? Because, see guys, just like that, as soon as we don't get a win, we drop out there. And Juve take our, Juve take our position. Just like that. And we're no longer in Champions League contention. That's all it took. Apparently it was the talk. No, it was a bit more than that. It was a bit more than the manager's talk. <sighs> Might just change the outfield there. Let's go. Attacking movement. Work on defending and attacking. Simple training. Yeah, rest in peace. <laughs> rest in peace. But it was a great run. But guys, I swear... A run like that, and one loss, and we're out of Champions League. Out of a Champions League spot. Is that how tight the season is? Really? Like, 62 points? That's not bad, isn't it? I guess we've had eight draws. Maybe we've had a couple more wins, like these other sides. But, ah, oh, it's tough. It sure is. 
Sure is. Mm, but we've got a good chance against Cagliari. They're 18th. So hopefully, yeah, get the win. Get the win there. Get that back. So how long have I been streaming? Ooh, about 10 minutes away. 10 minutes away from two hours. So how many more games? In yeah, I probably won't finish. Yeah, I probably won't finish this season. I was thinking maybe, yeah, we'll play this Cagliari one, finish on a good note, and this will be more like a two-hour type stream. It's all right. So, yeah, we'll, we'll end the stream. We'll end the stream after this game. I'll see it as a good, hopefully, to end it on a pro positive, more a positive note. I think we can. I think we can. Yeah, appreciate you guys that keep watching. Uh, but for those of you that want to keep watching, I, I think I, I can raid another streamer as well. Another, I always like to raid a smaller streamer. Give him some extra viewers. Even though I don't have a crazy amount. <laughs> oh boy. Guys, why are oh, LaFont? He should be okay. I like to think we'll be able to. Well, we'll be able to play him at least. He'll be fine. He won't get injured. Not a big injury. He should be okay. I like to think it's Cagliari. He won't have to do too much work. Hopefully, <laughs> guys. Dario Marisic almost at ten rating. He's killing the training right now. So does that mean the title race is over? Like actually for the title there? Mm. I uh, yeah. I don't think I strongly consider myself title contenders. Like we could be a title winner this season. But I mean, when you go that long unbeaten, I mean pretty good streak still and we 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 still need to fight for a champions league spot okay youth players who are these guys are any of these decent guys do any of these names come to mind spring to mind for you Hmm. Probably, well, they're letting him go for a reason, so they probably don't have good potential, so. Won't spend too much time. But we can hope. Ooh. Roma. Roma get a result against Juventus. Let's see. I'll probably head back to bed and rest for a bit, to be honest. <laughs> I woke up a bit early. A bit earlier than normal. Uh, Vieri, thanks for the follow. Vieri1690. Thank you. And yeah, we got the game tomorrow, Cagliari. So, come on. So, Lazio. Yeah, Lazio cruising a bit. Let's see. Roma. Can they get... Maybe a draw will be good? Or we'll see. Oh, guys. They... Oh. Roma scored a late goal. The Juve were a bit clear. Uh, though I did just say... 
I'm not sure if you heard it in the stream, if you've been staying in the stream a bit. Yeah, um, this will be the final final game of the stream. Been about two hours on the stream as well, so you can catch up if you... But if you watch... Yeah, <laughs> that's all good. Uh, you can catch the past broadcasts. I upload them to YouTube as well. Regardless, but... Yeah, a lot more streams. A lot more streams will be coming, for sure. I enjoy it. Ugh. Just want to get back with a win here. Hey, ending on a loss. How are you guys when you're playing Football Manager? You never want to quit the game. Well, not quit the game. Like, stop playing after a loss. You want to keep... You at least want a positive result or a, a result you're happy with. It can be a draw. So you're like, yep, yeah, okay, I'll take that. <laughs> That's a decent result. So, yeah, we'll get into this one against Cagliari. Hopefully, let's let's go with... How's our selection looking? Biragi can come back in. I'm happy with that. Hanko, he's okay, but... Yeah, I'm just more confident. Lewis Muriel. Might as well have him on the bench. Might as well keep him there. Uh... I mean, we gave Cecherini a chance. We've got to keep playing him so he's happy. <laughs> Again, rotate the squad more, yeah? Give these a rot... But, it's, like I said, it's hard to maintain the happiness. Anyway, happy, happy enough with this selection. Let's just go into it. But we'll go on attacking. We'll go on attacking there. Yeah, and hopefully just get the win. So passionately, that's all right, but no, no green lighting up reactions. So I have faith in you. That gets a few motivated and happy. Let's go, let's go, guys. Let's get the win. Go and get the win. Let's finish, finish strongly. We've got it. We've got to keep alive. We've got to keep alive for Champions League hopes. It will be a bit disappointing if we settle in a fifth here. I say here, like, come the end of the season. And just get, if we just get Europa League. Come on, get creative. Haven't seen too much. Because I feel we've been good enough. I feel we've, we've had a good season. I've been saying. <laughs> I keep going back to that. Yeah, the long run. And here we go. Oh, that was close. Almost our own goal, it says. Guess uh, Not sure what he was doing there. Okay, Gerson. Hmm. So, half time now. So, it was a bit bit of a weird half that was. Pretty, pretty quiet. So, we're going to say I'm far from please. That motivates a very large majority there. Uh, Austin, thanks for the follow. Thanks for the follow. Here we go. Uh, sorry if you're just joining as well. I did say this was the final game of the stream. I've been streaming for two hours now. Just over a couple hours. So, yeah. You can catch it on the past the past broadcast as well. But yeah, I appreciate following. I do upload the you can see the past broadcasts on YouTube, but uh, yeah, on YouTube I upload them to YouTube. Uh, but you can just see them on Twitch as well. Either way, <laughs> either way, some people watch on Twitch. Uh, anyway, this is not good. We were almost conceding there. My last stream as well, I did one over four hours, so... <laughs> you can still catch that one. What skin am I using? Uh, oh, we can go into that. We can go into the skin. If It's called this noob skin. If you type that into Google, and I got it from FM Scout. FM Scout. So, yeah. 
You can catch that one. Or Ben Caldinho, if you can hit him up with the link. <laughs> I know you have a few times before. For the skin. Anyway, anyway, we need some... There we go. There's the link. Simeone hasn't done too much. Once more, let's go. Let's go. Baroni. The Baroni sub. The Barone sub. He's coming on. And then... Yeah, let's do it. Let's make the same same change. Alneni to come off. Yeah. Well, do we leave Alneni? Do we bring him for Veritu? Then Alneni, deep line playmaker. Veritu. And then Shadash. Come attacking midfielder on attack. There we go. Then we go more direct, be more expressive. See how we go with that. Push forward as well. Alright. Can we get the winner, Gerson? Who is it going to be? Who's going to be the hero, guys? Oh, I still got Malinkovic try back. <laughs> Wait after this highlight. He's strong defensively. So he's a big, strong lad. But let's see this build up switch nicely. Kiesa, can he be the hero? He finds Piazza. There we go, guys. There we go. Very neat. Very neat. I was going to say, yeah, we can bring on Lorini again. It was 80%, but. Fresh legs still. Fullback support. Yeah, maybe this fullback's just on support now. But there we go. That's a good goal. Would you check the replay? See the replay there. It's a good goal. Great assist. Really nice. That's his tenth goal of the season as well. So he did he did pretty solid there. Let's, let's hold on. Looks like we are. We're going to get a 1-0. Keep a clean sheet. Oh, unless we get a goal late, there may be a chance. Or is it just a late highlight? Could just be. Could just be. Yeah. <laughs> Kiesa's offside. We'll take that. We'll take the 1-0, guys. Solid, a solid 1-0. Good result. I wouldn't say it was an amazing performance by us, but yeah. You take the three points, maybe start a winning run now. A new winning run. Al Neni. Uh, when's our next game? Seven days. Yeah, maybe Al Neni. Maybe we can rest him. Give him rest for three days. Two, two days should be enough, I think. So we will save it there. <clears throat> but yeah guys uh where are we i said i did want to raid another streamer so i'll, I'll set that up if you guys want to continue to watch some more football manager some more football manager let's see let's see who's streaming right now guys Raid, yeah? The raid. Appreciate you guys that go ahead from that. Oh, yeah. Was this guy who was in my stream last time? Ben küçüktüğümden beri fenaldim ya. Çok küçüktüğümde çizgili formam vardı. 90... He's Turkish. I just, I'm just going to listen to a second. Because he said sometimes he speaks English. Bizim... Baba tarafı full fenerdi zaten. 
Yeah, he's speaking in Turkish, so last time he said he, he streams and he speaks in English, so I don't know. <laughs> Raid time. I'm, uh, sorry, I'm just I'm just seeing who's live right now. I'm just seeing who's live. I'm sure you guys want to go to an English-speaking channel. <laughs> um, where are we? Yeah, guys, that's just me personally. I like to I like to raid someone with maybe like lower viewers than me, and they would think that's thank you for the follow, my friend. Like welcome, big welcome and thrice welcome. All right, I just use my headphones to listen to them. Don't mind that. All right, guys. All right. Rangers away in just Rio heading Cup. to that. So guys, yeah, we're gonna leave it there for now. I'll That's raid another streamer. But we if can actually get some fucking form going. Oh, Chelsea where are we? Sixteenth in the Premier League. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Thank you, guys. Hope you hope you guys had a had a, had a good or you enjoyed the stream. Yeah, pretty good, mate. You pretty good. Not streaming for a great deal more time, maybe half an hour ish. There we go, guys. Ready for the raid. Uh, his yeah, his Nally Twitch Nally name Nally is Nally Matty. So yeah, make sure. Flying support. is still by far the safest mode of transport that humans engage in. 